Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to change your app icons on iOS 16. So the process to do this is almost like the other ones too. But the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we have Siri shortcuts installed on our phone, just like that. And we want to get some images of some, you know, icons. So what you can try is you can type in like iOS, you know, icons, aesthetic or something like that. That's something that you can always search for. So I haven't even downloaded any yet here. So in this case, we'll just use one application as an example. So in this case, we'll just go and keep scrolling down until I find some sort of, you know, application that I want. So sometimes they have big ones like this. You can also search for individual ones. So this one, for example, if I click here, I can go ahead and utilize, you know, this music application as one. I'll go and save this out. So I'll go and click save. So I'll go and hold this down and click add to photos. And we'll just use this application or that specific, you know, music application photo as one. So what we want to do is we want to make our way over to Siri shortcuts just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new automation. So we're going to click create personal automation up there. And this specific case, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go and click the plus button that's on the top right corner. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create an open app action. So you can either add an action by clicking up here and then basically searching for add, you know, open app action. For me, I have it already right here. So I'm going to click there and we want to go ahead and open an app. So in this case, we can click on the app right there and we want to choose the music application. So we want to scroll down until we see Apple Music or music right here. So we're going to choose music. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click done. So now what's going to happen is we'll see this little application there. What we want to do is we when we click on it, we'll basically see it'll take us straight into the music app. And that's what exactly what we want to do. Now to actually go ahead and go further, we want to click on the three dots right there. And what we want to do is we want to click on the share button that's on the bottom right. So when I click share, what it's going to do is it's going to allow us to add to home screen. So we want to go and click on add to home screen and we want to go and click on the little icon right there, which is going to bring us a little drop down menu. We want to choose choose photo and we want to click on that image that we just took or that we just had. So we can go and click choose and you can see that icon will be like this. Now we can click on the X right there and it's going to go ahead and allow us to change this to a different set of icons. So now we can go and change this to music or whatever other name we want and we can go and click add and watch what happens. When we swipe out, we have the music application now right there. We can go and open it up. It's going to give us that little annoying pop-up at the top, which I think we can turn off. And that's essentially it. Now you have to just rinse and repeat and try that with many other applications. And sooner than later, you can probably have a full-on layout that looks something that's super cool, probably something along the lines of one of these ones. And that's pretty much it. So the process is essentially you have to keep going and, you know, keep using a different type of, you know, you have to keep going through and actually utilizing a different type of, you know, application or different option each single time. But I think it will look good and you'll probably have a layout over time that will probably look something like this, hopefully. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.